um, according to MLB trade rumors, it's a, it's a technology called PitchCom that's being tested during spring training game, and the league is now offering that players can continue to use the system on a voluntary basis during the regular season. Um, basically, just an electronic wristband that has different pitches on it. The catcher taps that, you know, I want a two seam, right? And then in the pitcher's earpiece, it would say two seam, right? Mm-hmm. Or what? I, I mean, that's just a very basic baseline level of it. Um, but it's, I mean, you want to cut down on pitch stealing or sign stealing. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. And it, it's, if it's working, great. Some pitchers may not like that. Some catchers may not like that. That's why I'm, I'm, appreciative that they're at least doing it on a voluntary basis i think you should have you got a one you got one earpiece in and you've got a one-way clicker that looks a lot like the umpire's tool for you know counting balls and strikes but it's got four buttons on it you know it's got a fastball button a curveball button a, a slider button you know a sinker button whatever and you hit the button that you want and it beeps a number of times according to that number on your little clicker and it goes back and forth that way and that because if you're sitting there talking they're gonna, yeah, they're they're gonna, gonna hear you Someone's going to hear, someone's going to read lips, something. So, yeah, that's a, the this report from MLB Trade Rumor says it's a specialized wristband. So, I don't think the catcher is holding a clicker. Mm-hmm. I think it's on an actual wristband. And I don't know, I haven't seen it. Like, I haven't picked up on it on any of the um, spring training games that I've watched. Um, but who knows? I mean, could be a good evolution. I got, I don't have any problem with it. I, I love stealing signs the old fashioned way personally, mm-hmm. right? I don't need a camera in center field. I want to watch a sequence and I want to see, you know, is the coach in the dugout given some kind of indicator and then, mm-hmm. you know, following that sequence and being able to build that to help my team gain some kind of advantage. Um, so I would love to see the old school stuff stay in, but it is what it is. And I think it's good. It could be good for the game. I just love that baseball has had a well-known cheating scandal for the history of baseball, but they were able to just sweep it under the rug and just call it gamesmanship this entire time. Well, it I mean, it is, though. It is gamesmanship. You're no, always cheating. <laughs> well, I mean, yes and no. You're always looking to gain an advantage in any sport that you play. Right? Right. You got, you know, teammates and trying to get to the opposing team's huddle and listening to see what play is coming. But listen, the same thing happens in football. Mm-hmm. I scouted plenty of Texas high school football teams, and my sole job, because I was a baseball guy, was to sit in the press box and steal their signs. <laughs> so I would figure out who the offensive coordinator was, and I would write down the sign that he gave, and then I would write down the play that he did. Mm-hmm. And it, you're always looking, listen, if you aren't cheating, you aren't trying. But at the to same time... Extent. To a certain huh? extent. <laughs> to, right, I know. But, to but I mean, there is, and I go back to what you just said, there is a certain extent. 